you getting along with that? Pretty good. Buckskin showed me how to fix the eyes. I wonder how Mother and Dad are doing up ahead. They must be pretty tired. It's been a long trip, Jimmy. I'm tired, too. I'll be glad when we get where we're going. Wish we'd never left home. Cheer up, Jimmy. Don't always be complaining. When we get settled in our new homestead, you'll be glad we left old Kansas. Jack, you told me I'd get to shoot Indians, and I ain't even seen any yet. That's what's wrong with you, Jimmy. Always looking for trouble. If you don't change your ways, you want them up to anything. Oh, you're always telling me that. What's the use of coming out here if we can't run into some Indians so I can use this gun? About five miles down. I'll ride ahead and see if we can cross it before dark, Mr. Winters. I guess that's the outfit, all right. They don't look like to me they'd be carrying that payroll money. But Larson tipped me off the money'd be shipped secretly with the settler's outfit for protection. So if it's there, we'll get it. Take him with us. Well, that's the cattle we got for more than pay for the trouble. Yeah.
I come back to find the wagons burned and his folks buried them graves there. A gang of renegades did it. The Indians had taken Jack and treated him like one of their own. Took me five years to locate him and get him back. But the brother, Buckskin, you never learned of him? No. Nope. He seemed to disappear from the earth. Jack and me have been trying to locate him ever since. You call him Jack? Sure, that's his name. Oh, we all call him Cherokee. But the people think he's part Indian. So I have heard. And he never meet up with his gang? No, but he'll keep on looking just the same. I will hate to be in their shoes when he find them. Come on, Rusty. What is that you make, my friend? Oh, I've been doing this since I was a kid. Yeah, I've been doing this ever since I was a kid. Forget where I learned it. Just a habit when I'm nervous, I guess. You know, when Dad first hired you as wagon boss for this trip, I nearly fainted when I saw you whittling a doll. There you were, the Kansas kid, carving a doll. <laughs> well, what's that? Oh, that's a locket my mother gave me. Oh. I never knew my mother. She died when I was just a youngster. Killed by the Indians. And I've sort of knocked around ever since. We're ready to roll whenever you are. Sooner the better, Mr. Masters. I'll be glad when we get through that sending country. Uh, well, uh, I'll get things started. I never saw a man look so worried just at the mention of Indians. Well, his mother was killed by them. He told me so. Oh, I see. Lex, you knew my mother. Sure I did. Why? Was she, uh, pretty as her? Well, you see, kid, the only time I ever seen you, mother, was when she... Yeah, was... yeah, yeah, I know. Say, you ain't getting too interested, are you? You know, we got a job to do, and Buff's counting on you. Don't you worry about that. Oh, Mr. Masters. Yeah? Lex and I are going to ride ahead to the South Ridge and check the trail. Right, kid. We'll press along behind you. I'm heading them for Rainbow Canyon, but they'll camp at the Willows tonight. Now we'll have a chance to give Buff the tip. That ought to work. Time adds little changes to rocks, eh, hey, Rawhide? It's been a good many years since we was here. But this country ought to make good pickings, the way the kid works. Funny thing, the way that kid took to our game, ain't it? A born leader, good with a gun, and tough as a boot. I pity you if he ever learns the truth. I told you never to breathe that. He'll always think it was Indians. I'll kill the man that tells him different. Well, only Lex and me knows, so don't worry. Charles, ready. Come on. It worked easy. Masters hired me without any question. I'm wagon boss with them. Where are they headed? Wagon Springs. Got a nice load of provisions and uh, some cattle. What's it going to be worth? With beef at four cents a pound, should clear about two thousand. 
When do we take them? I steered them off the main trail. They're headed for Rainbow Canyon. Hit us about noon time. We'll be there. Hey, what's on your mind? Yeah, I wish we'd never come back here. Why? Well, it was somewhere near here you found me, wasn't it, Buff? That's right. I never knew my folks, but well, somehow I feel they're near me. You better get some grub. Thanks. I love my tamale. That's my sweetheart name. She loves the chili. To me, it's just the same. And when we get married, we'll buy a rancherito to raise frioli, tamales, and little chilies too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love the chilies, they never give me sorrow, cause the little chilies of today is the big pepper tomorrow. Hey, who's that? That fella seemed scared when he saw us. Yeah, I'll find out why. You wait here. Hey there! Gee, ma'am, I'm sorry. I thought you were a man. And when I called to you, you didn't stop, and you were acting so strange, I... Well, you sure scared me. I'm very sorry. But say, who are you? Well, they call me Cherokee. Oh, my dad and I have heard lots about you, but somehow our trails never have crossed. You're riding kind of far out, aren't you, miss? Are you alone? No, my outfit's back in the willows. We plan to camp there tonight. Well, what's an outfit doing way up here? We're going to Wagon Springs. Wagon Springs? Who's leading your outfit? My dad, Jeff Masters, and the Kansas kid. Why? Well, you're way off the main trail. If you're sure of that, I wish you'd tell Dad. Well, I'd be glad to. Mr. Masters, you're heading for Rainbow Canyon. It's blind. Where's your wagon, boss? Why, he rode on ahead, but he'll be back soon. Dad, Cherokee said he'd be glad to head us to Wagon Springs. Well, uh, what did he charge us for your time? Oh, there'll be no charge, Mr. Masters. I'm going that way myself, and I'll be very glad for the company. You know, I can't figure how we missed the trail. Well, evidently your wagon boss doesn't know much about this country. But we'll get you back on the main trail easy. I'm giving the orders here. What seems to be the trouble? Oh, Cherokee, this is uh, the Kansas kid, our wagon boss. Well, no hard feelings, Kansas. I just figured you were off your bearings, that's all. What's wrong with the way we're headed? Well, Rainbow is impassable. And besides, it's Apache country. You ought to know about Indians, Cherokee. You're one, ain't you? My word, Mr. Masters. You're heading wrong. I'm inclined to believe you, Cherokee, and we'll go your way. Hold on, Masters. You hired me to run this outfit, didn't you? We want no interference from that half-breed. How do you know he's not figuring a double cross, leading us into an Indian trap? Relax, please. I'm sorry for starting trouble. It wasn't your fault. I'd have done the same thing. Masters, I'm quitting this outfit. Go ahead and string with that galoot and see where it gets you. 
Yeah. And we'll drift along after supper. All right, boys. If that's the way you want it. I hope our trails cross again, Cherokee. You know, Cherokee, this is the first chance I've had to thank you since we got straightened out on the trail. No thanks necessary, ma'am. You're an odd man, Cherokee. Odd? Your life, the way you're always willing to help people who can't even afford to pay you. And you always travel the trails alone. They say you won't stay working long for one outfit. That's right. I like to drift around, see different places and different people. Ever think of settling down? Someday, maybe, to ranching. In fact, I've got the spot all picked out. Tell me about it. Well, it's the kind of place Mother always wanted. Acres and acres of trees and flowers. And a lake, too. And the sky seemed to always be smiling down on it. Mom always dreamed of a place like that and called it her heaven. She never saw it, though. Lost her life on this very trail. Indians? No. White renegades. That's the reason I stick to the trails. Because someday I'll find them. What you thinking, Buck? I hope what I'm thinking is wrong for Cherokee's sake. Let's get riding, kid. Dad is going to establish a freight line between Wagon Springs and Independence. Well, he should do all right. And if I can ever help, you just call on me. Thanks. Well, I guess I'll turn in. Good night, Cherokee. Good night, Mary. Son, them critters ain't worth going after. Yeah, I guess you're right. And you promised to lead us to Wagon Springs. Well, that's why I called the raid off, Buff. I tell you, that Cherokee is a whole lot smart and powerful with a gun. Ask Lex, he can tell you. For years, I heard plenty about him. He makes it tough on men in our business. I'd hoped he wasn't in these parts. He won't be for long. I'd have dropped him in his tracks last night, but, well, we was outnumbered. 
We didn't come all the way out here for nothing. We got to make a haul. We will, and on Wagon Springs. But my first job is to take care of that Cherokee. Cherokee. Good morning, Mr. Masters. I was just wondering if you'd be interested in tying in with me as trail boss. What do you say? Well, I don't care much about tying in too tight on any one job, Mr. Masters. You see, I have matters of my own that keep me traveling. Well, just as you say, I was counting on you, sort of. But we will guide your outfit until you get things running. Well, that's fine, because I got a special shipment that'll make history in the next day or so, and I'll need you. Thanks. All right. Buckskin, I think I'll make that little visit. That's a good idea. And I'm taking Lopez along. Thank you very much. Well, I'll just drift over to the oasis and wet my whistle. Might see some new faces and learn something. Rusty, come here, boy. Hey, Firebrand, come here, boy. Where are we going, I bring you good news. White Fathers Beyond Big River promised me peace treaty will be lived up to. You will get your lands back under one condition. No fighting. Say, there's something going on in Wagon Springs. Some galoots discovered gold and made a deal with Jeff Masters for him to haul out their first big load. Say, this might be the luckiest strike we've ever made. Hey, you men, come on with me. What are you going to do? Well, if it's all right with you, Buff, I'm going to get the load on this deal. And make sure that Cherokee don't cut in on our plans again. Go ahead. Don't look good for all of us to ride in there. Rawhide, you go with me. The rest of you stay here till we get back. Find out when Masters is going to roll out of here with that shipment. Try and get yourself a job at the outfit. 
I'm going to take a look around for Cherokee. The discovery of gold buckskin will make history in Boom Wagon Springs overnight. If I can carry that shipment through safely for the Kramer boys, my freight line will be made. Looks mighty good for you, masters. Who would ever thought that there was gold out here? How much ore are you figuring to haul? Oh, I can take $10,000 worth on this trip. It's plenty rich. Say, where's Cherokee? Well, way on a little business. Say, when are you expecting to start with this ore? In the morning. He'll be back before then. Howdy, mister. I uh, hear you're looking for some hands on your freighter. Well, I can use a man. Better show up in the morning. Thanks. I'll be here. News of this discovery travels like wildfire. I better be getting things ready. Will you tell Cherokee I want to see him? Sure thing. I've caught on with them, and I know all their plans. They roll out in the morning. Good. This Cherokee ain't in town. I'll go back and get buff set. You stick here and keep your eyes open. Hey! Senor, these Indians are not such bad people. They're accused of a lot of things they don't do, Lopez. And some of the things they do, they're driven to by renegade white men. Men who try to rob them of their lands. That tribe raised me, and I know them pretty well. Do we go back to town now? No, Lopez. The chief told me of a gang of white men in back of the hills. I'm going to have a look. You go back. Si, senor. What are you doing here? Where do you go? Well, I got some important business up here. Where's Cherokee? I don't know. Well, hunt him up and have him follow my trail up here. This is going to lead to something. Uh, si, senor. Pronto. It's Cherokee. Wonder what he's doing up here. Well, whatever it is, it ain't no good. We better stay out of sight and see what he's up to. Hey, he's coming in now. He mustn't see me. Howdy, mister. Howdy. I understand there's a cattle office starting up here. I could tie in if you need men. Cattle your business? Hold still, Cherokee. I'll answer for you, because I'm on to your game. You and your pals cut in on us with a master's outfit. Figured a nice haul, but on account of a girl, you wouldn't go through with it. And I got something to settle with you. There's a gold shipment you won't cut in on, because we're getting that.
No horse, he can't get away. down. Well, I'm glad to see you here. What's up? Who is he? That's Cherokee's pal. And it gives me an idea. Now I know how I can get that Cherokee back here. By just holding him. Get your horses. Masters, have you got that shipment loaded and ready to go? Why, son, what's wrong? The Kansas Kid and his gang are planning to take it. And you can't tell when they're going to try. So you better load now and make a run for it. Thanks, Cherokee, I'll leave at once. I'll get Buckskin and Lopez and follow you. All right, I'll pull out just as soon as I load the ore. Cherokee. I wanted to go, but Dad wouldn't hear of it. Promise you'll see him through? I'll do my best. Well, I guess I'll get the boys and be on my way. Buckskin wants you to follow him out on the trail. I think he's after the kid. Lopez? Here's what I want you to do. Cherokee's left. They started down the trail of that gold shipment. We'll just mop and add them off.
And don't lose any time. Si, sí, amigo. Firebrand, we have work to do. Buff, I tell you you're making a mistake. The kid is handling this all wrong. What's the matter with you? You getting yellow? No, not yellow. But we're fooling with dynamite. This Cherokee won't be taken so easy. He's smart, I tell you. He'll find some way to get enough men together to cook us. Since when did you start trying to run this outfit, Lex? I ain't trying to run it. But I'm for cleaning up on that stuff at Wagon Springs and getting out of here. Some of the other fellows feel the same way. The kid will handle it his way. Ah, the kid. That's all I've heard out of you for years, ever since we picked him up. And if he ever knew it was you who killed his people... I warned you, Lex. They're making a run with that shipment. If we hustle, we can catch them across the plains. Good work, kid. I just remembered something. How about that fellow Buckskin? That's right. We can't leave him there. On your back. No, let me do it. It'll be a pleasure. Right on. I'll be right with you. All right. Lucky Lex, his bullet just creased you. Thanks. Well, thanks for helping me. Let's step out in the open, kid, and get it over with. You count five and come on. One. Two. Three. Four. Hold it! Cherokee! The kid's your brother! Understand? Your brother! It's a trick, Buckskin. No, it ain't, kid. I'll prove it. Come here. Lex! How can you prove it? In the years we've been together, kid, I've never lied to you. Cherokee is your brother. Remember these? I, I showed you how to carve them. Yeah. I remember. Buckskin. Yes, Jimmy. I've hunted for you for a long time. And maybe now you're sorry. No. I'm glad.
Get him. Killed your folks. That's right. I saw him when he done it. Well, where is he? That's Buff. They've got masters. Come on, Buckskin. I'm going with you, Jack. If you'll let me. Sure, kid. Get your horse. Where you hit, kid? All over, I guess. I 
got just what I deserved. Our lives might have been so different. Oh, you're a great kid, Cherokee. I'm sorry. I... Now you try it. Lopez, Mr. Masters wants us to leave today with him on a freight haul. What about Cherokee? Is he not going? What's the matter with you? Use your eyes. Can't you see he's a mighty busy man with a wedding coming up? What are you thinking of? Settling down. In that little spot I was telling you about. <laughs> 